The Nestle story dates back to the 1860s when child mortality in Europe reached an all-time high with one in four babies unlikely to survive. Henry Nestle, a visionary man, took it upon himself to discover a solution to reduce child mortality. He created the first infant cereal that would meet an infant's daily nutritional requirement. In order to ensure high quality standards, Henry Nestle sourced the best ingredients and started developing new procedures that would make the product safe, long-lasting and easy to use. His efforts finally saw light in 1867 when he created the first product, farine lactate, meaning milk flour in French. With his newly invented infant cereals, Henry Nestle saved the life of a premature boy, Little Warner. He also introduced quality and hygiene norms long before they were mandatory. Within seven years, by 1874, Nestle infant cereals were already available in 18 countries across all continents. Later, in 1932, Gerber's cereal was launched and by the 1940s, new spectrums of Nestle infant cereal brands were introduced to the world. Nestrum was launched in 1943, followed by Cerelac Farina Lactile in 1949 and Musilon in 1958. Furthermore, to make the product even more convenient and easy to prepare, state-of-the-art technology was used to create the first ever instant recipe in 1948. Following this, in 1975, India's first Cerelac variant, Cerelac Wheat, was launched. And in 2015, Nestle proudly completed the 40-year journey of Cerelac in India. Cerelac's 150-year journey has indeed been a remarkable one and we are proud to have introduced many firsts. Today, Nestle infant cereals are available in 180 countries with over 14,000 servings consumed every minute. And it doesn't stop there. Nestle Nutrition is now committed to address the global micronutrient deficiency challenge. These are just a few of the many first steps taken by Nestle Nutrition towards its vision of nurturing a healthy generation. With a strong vision for the future, Nestle is now turning its attention to the next 150 years and beyond.